Sorry about that, guys. Um, we're back, though, with Dad. Um, next game, we're going to recap. Um, guys, I'm not in the mood to recap every game, so we're just going to do big ones. So Clemson beating Wake Forest 51-45 to in a double overtime. Great win for the Tigers. Um, Sam Hartman balled out, but still just came up short. Dad, what is your takeaway on Clemson Wake Forest and the state of those two programs right now? Well, obviously Wake Forest is on the rise. Their coach is going to be a hot commodity in the offseason. I can't believe Clemson's defense gave up so many points. I know they won, but that's got to be shocking. But Wake Forest has a good offense. They do? Is Dave Clawson a name you could see going to Auburn? Could you see him going to Nebraska? No. Why not? Because he's not a big time guy, and he's not a Midwest guy. I just don't see that happening. Yeah. Anyway, um, Baylor beat Iowa State thirty-one to twenty-four. Baylor, a big row win. Is it time that is Baylor gonna win the Big Twelve back to back? Because it's looking like that. What do you think? And why do you think that's the case, sir? Death on defense, superior coaching. Okay, next game. Auburn barely survived Missouri 17-14. to Wow, is Brian Harson one lucky dude. What do you think? Um, next game, TCU won 42-34 at SMU. TCO, TCU is 3-0. Joe, Joe, we're not going to do every game, but... I know, I'm just doing the good ones. Is it time that people stop... Is TCU a dark horse in the Big 12? No, Baylor's a lot. Okay. Um, next game, this will be one of our last recaps for college... I think you know what game this is. Um, just a PSA. Spartan fans, I'd click off this video. Um, Minnesota just absolutely obliterates MSU in East Landfill, 34-7. to seven. Um, 95 million reasons why Michigan State season is already over. An embarrassing loss for Tuck at home. Dad, what is your take on the state of Michigan State football? Well, my take is, is that Tuck is in some trouble. They don't have much in the Do, so, $95 million, third highest paid coach in college football. Uh, Matt Ishbia offered him a big fat check. What do you think Matt Ishbia is thinking right now as this team is 2-2? Two two? Uh, I imagine he's concerned. I mean, they didn't hire him just for this year, but he certainly deserves time to get his own players there. But he's going to have to figure out how to get better um anyway um what are your thoughts on kansas state winning 41 34 over oklahoma Um, last game to recap, your beloved USC Trojans barely escaping in Corvallis, 17-14 against Oregon State. Um, what, what do you think of USC? Is, is there, like, concerns you'd have if you're a Trojan barely escaping? Well, I would have thought they'd score more points, but they're still winning games, so I'm not going to get too down on them. Yes, anyway, um... Let's do the NFL real quickly, a couple games. Um, our beloved Detroit Lions with an absolute pitiful loss on Sunday. 
Dan Campbell with one of the worst coaching performances I've seen from a Lions coach in a very long time. Um, what is your take on the state of Detroit Lions football? If is this an oh is it an overreaction to say the season is over? No, it's not over, but I can tell you they better beat Seattle because the wheels are gonna come off the car real quick when they have winnable games, but they don't win. Do you think the Lions were a better team than Minnesota? The Lions were better than Minnesota and they should have won the game and Campbell lost it. What Tell the viewers what was the thing he did that what decision did he make that pissed you off the most? Not uh, throwing a high risk pass on third and one with a ten point lead and Campbell throwing it down the field and Campbell was In another thing that no one's talking about is, it on the last drive, when Minnesota gave us a free first down because of a hold, on the second down, why run it three straight plays? You know they're stacking the box and expecting a run in the play action game with Gossman working all day. Why run into the wall three straight times? At what point do you think that the fan, at what point are we allowed to start getting nervous? Well, if they don't, if they lose the next couple games, which appear to be on paper as games that they should win, and if they don't, which they should win, then we have a serious problem on our hands. But we'll worry about Anyway, a big win for the Chicago Bears, 23-20 over the Texans. Justin Field getting a lot of heat in the media. Had a very poor day. What do you think of Justin Fields and the Bears? Yeah, I don't think he's that good. This, Joe, this is my last game, okay, bud? Let's make it count. All right. I, I know Fields has it. I mean, he's still young. He's got time. But I don't think he's been that impressive, to be honest with you. Let's talk about the shit show on Sunday Night Football between the Broncos and the Niners. Terrible coaching by Nathiel Hackett. Um, makes me feel better to know that there's a more incompetent buffoon out there than Dan Campbell. What do you think of the state of the Denver Broncos and Russell Wilson? Well, they're, they're at least 2-1, even though they don't look like they're doing much. But I'd rather be 2-1 than 1-2. and two. Uh, Russell Wilson has been playing well. He's playing well. Yeah, um, for sure. Okay, you you want to go? Okay, um, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Sorry, guys. Um, you know, I'm just, um, my dad wanted to cut it short tonight. I could still recap. Um, so what we're going to do, instead of recapping every game this week, to make these videos shorter and more enjoyable for you fellas, um, we're going to do... College football overreactions. We're going to do one of foul overreactions and parlays. Um, or not parlays. Um, so, college football. So USA Today does great job with overreaction, guys. Um, um, overreactions or not, Alabama's offense is totally fixed. Um, I'd say yes. That's not an overreaction. 
That's not an overreaction. Normal. Alabama is still going to be in the college football playoff, guys. It's Nick Saban, for Christ's sake. Clemson's offense is totally fixed. Overreaction. Um, one good game from ukulele is not all of a sudden going to turn around an entire offense. That's a good first step, though, for Ukester, ukulele, and Clemson. But is their offense totally fixed? Absolutely not. Totally overreaction. And so sick and tired of hearing the people saying we gave ukulele too much crap. Well, we gave ukulele to a lot of crap because he sucks. And I'm not going to let one game determine his career. I'm not going to let one good game from him. Let, okay, sorry guys. I'm not going to let one good game from him make me turn him in to Joe Montana. Stop. It's The offense is not totally fixed. Are they making progress? Yes. But Jesus Christ, I mean, totally fixed? No. Southern Cal is not a playoff team. I agree. I don't think they are because I just feel like they're going to drop a game somewhere. Their schedule looks too easy and too good to be true for a first-year I coach. I, I, I say they're not a playoff team. The Big 12 champion will come from the Sunflower State. Between Kansas and Kansas State. So basically this question is. what The Big 12 champion will be either Kansas State or Kansas. Overreaction. Um, look man. Kansas State always plays well against Oklahoma. And. Not surprising there. Um, Kansas. Again. They haven't played anyone. Nice story for Kansas. Leapo. Um, whatever his name is at Kansas to coach. Doing a very nice job there. But. Nah, man, I, I think it's a way overreaction. I, I want to see Kansas go up against a good team before I can make a judgment on them. I just think right now it's an overreaction. Minnesota is the best team in the Big Ten West. Yeah, that I agree with that. I mean, they, they just went in the East Landfill and dominated State, but State sucks. But, yeah, Minnesota looks like the most complete team in the Big Ten West this year. I would agree with that. Um, It's now or never for PJ, man. I mean, don't make the... Don't make Indy this year. I don't know when it happens. So, there are some. I'll do a, another article of this because this is fun. Tennessee is ready for Bama. Overreaction. Guys, we, we do this shit every year. Oh, the hot and coming team, they, they always, oh, we want Bama. We do the same crap every year, and what happens? They get killed. Same in Michigan, I, I'll admit. Michigan, I thought last year we were ready for Georgia. Oh, was I brutally wrong. And I'm not making that same mistake again. And no, Tennessee is not ready for Bama. Nope. <coughs> Clemson wins the ACC with DJ at QB. Um... Unfortunately, I have to agree. I mean, not not because I think ukulele's any good, but because um, they, they, Clemson just doesn't play anybody. So, unfortunately, I, I think they do. Oregon is in better hands with Dan Lanning than Mario Cristobal. Wow, is that a hot take. Wow. You know... I agree. Mario Cristobal is not a very good game day decision manager. I, I'm going to say yes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say yes, they are. Row the boat to Indianapolis. Minnesota will make Indy. Um, Kind of answer this question. Yes, they will. The Big 12 is out of the CFP. Agree. 
So, anyway, guys, let's move on to the NFL overreactions. And then we will do a Detroit sports show tomorrow night. So, everybody, tune in. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't no 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 no. The Jaguars are the best team in the AFC South. Overreaction or reality? Reality. I agree. I think this is Jacksonville's division to lose right now. Never thought I'd say it, but Trevor Lawrence is playing some great football. Du du amazing what happens when you got an actual coach. Peterson, great coach, won a Super Bowl with Philly. Um, I, I feel like Philly should not have fired him um, because, um, you know, oh, well, he, he shouldn't have tanked intentionally. You know what? No. That, that's another thing, guys. <coughs> Sorry. Um. Oh, well, so it, let, let me explain this. If 2020 wasn't already crazy enough of a year, at the end of the season, the Eagles and the Giants were tied, and Philly had a tiebreaker. So if, and so Dallas did too. So the winner of the Dallas Giants game needed Philly to win on Sunday night against the Redskins. So, the Giants won, and Philly, look, already 4-10, and ten, that, that division was shit that year. And Philly intentionally tanked to stop the Giants. Now, most people will say, oh my god, Philly shouldn't have done that. You know, here's the thing, guys. The Giants have no one to be mad at but themselves. They won six games. Don't deserve to make the playoffs with six wins. Oh, but Philly, Philly screwed us. No. You should not have had to rely on Philly. No. It's a rivalry. What do you guys expect? I would hope that if... I would hope that if, I don't know. It, 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 look, I understand why people are mad at it. I think it's funny. If I was an Eagles fan, I'd love it, you know. The Giants can cry all they want about that, but you win six games, you don't have any right to cry. So, sorry, Giants. And, by the way, you're the most overrated team in football this year. Um, no one takes you seriously. Dan, Danny Dimes it just sucks. Um, Jalen Hurts is an MVP candidate. Overreaction or reality? Reality. I mean, did, did, name me someone who's had a better first three weeks of football than he has. I mean, now he has great receivers. <coughs> yeah, it, it's a reality. Jalen Hurts is definitely an MVP candidate. Josh McDaniel should be fired should be first head coach fired this year. He's the coach of the Raiders. Overreaction. Or reality. It's an overreaction. Ab absolutely an overreaction. I mean, hey, they're 0-3, but I can name a million other coaches I'd, I'd fire before Josh McDowns. The Bengals and Joe Burrow are back. Overreaction or reality? Reality. I, I think that, it, hey, 0-2 slump, shit happens. They get the Dolphins at home. Miami's coming off an emotional win. Since he's a four-point favorite, why are they a four-point favorite? What's Vegas? This is the good old Vegas trying to trick you. The fish line, the fishing line. And, yeah, they're back. Lamar Jackson is the front runner for MVP. Overreaction or reality? Overreaction. Hurts has had a better year than Lamar. Um, you know, I, I've seen this movie with Lamar before. And the, look, man, I just think this is Hurts here. The Bills can't be taking, taken seriously as Super Bowl favorites until they win one scores game games. Overreaction or reality?
Oh, guys. Reality. I mean, you can't win one score games. You're never going to make it in this league. The Chiefs need to add a running back at the trade deadline when the trade deadline arrives. Overreaction or reality? Reality. I mean, look, having Mahomes is nice, but having a balanced offense is nicer. And Clyde Edwards Hilaire just is not gonna be a your your big time back. Um definitely need to add a back at the um deadline for sure. Tom Brady is starting to look like an aging QB. Overreaction or reality. Overreaction. We do this shit every year and Look, I will never disrespect Tom Brady until Tom Brady is number one quarterback in the league until proven otherwise. The Lions have to learn how to finish games. Overreaction or reality? Um, Dan Campbell has to know how to call games. Yes, reality. We got to finish games, man. And, and th this falls on the coach because this team has played well enough they should be 2-1, and one, but thanks to Dan Campbell, we're not. And the Bears are a better offense. Sorry, guys. I just... Sorry, what am I doing? Jameis Winston is back to his Tampa Bay self. Reality, he's not the long-term solution for New Orleans. The Bears are a better offense with Khalil Herbert. Overreaction or reality? Overreaction. Um, Bears offense sucks. J Justin Fields needs to get his shit together, man. Wow, congratulations. They beat the Texans at home. What did he do? Cardinals' slow starts will doom Cliff Kingsbury. Reality. Cl Cliff Kingsbury will be fired at the end of this season. Make no mistake about it. Just hasn't worked out in Zona with Kyler. The Falcons are the second best team in the NFC South. Overreaction or reality? <sighs> Guys, the AFC South might be the worst division in football. Overreaction. I think the Panthers are slightly better. Well, guys, that's the overreaction. video um thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and go blue and go lions and fuck msu fuck notre dame fuck ohio state fuck the packers vikings bears good night